when was the last time you considered ending this relationship and why didn't you? Oh, goodness <laughs> God. <laughs> you want to talk about this? Do you want to pass? I mean, I know the reason and yeah. when it was. Okay. Um, it was beginning of this year, whenever you were actually here for schooling. And you lied to me about having a Snapchat account. And then I found said Snapchat account. And then you were talking to or trying to talk to other women. Yeah, that was a hard one. Um, it took a lot for me to like figure out if I wanted to stay with you because I don't know, it's, uh, it hurts, it hurt, I guess. Still hurts a little bit, I already told you that before. But I chose to stay with you because you still have so much to lose and I know that you're a good person and you don't mean to do hurtful things. You just don't understand sometimes that you're doing hurtful things. And that's part of the reason I'm working on everything and I quit drinking, so. Yeah, and then I made you quit drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh uh, I told you. I you had an you. ultimatum. All by myself with no help. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> She's out. help. What are you hesitant to tell me? Oh, that's a good one. You good job? I guess it'd be like all the learning I've been doing lately. I've been watching, they're not watching, I've been like reading and <clears throat> looking up like, not really like empowerment videos, but like, I'm trying, I've been watching a lot of stuff and reading like how to be better for myself, to be better for the family <laughs> because of all the mistakes I've made in the past. And I did not know you were doing that. When do you worry most about me that I may not be aware of? Um, well, you know I worried about you a lot whenever you were on deployment. But even like now, like now, it's kind of like whenever you, whenever I don't hear back from you for a while when you're at work and uh, you like when you're at work, cause I know it's dangerous and then when you're driving home from work <laughs> and I don't hear back from you, it freaks me out. Like I have like, that's why I call you a lot and text you a lot. That's me freaking out. <laughs> it's me worrying like, where are you? Are you okay? <laughs> are you alive? <laughs> like, yeah, I definitely think it's that. How do we approach sex differently in our relationship? That's a good one. How do we approach it differently? I mean, at the beginning, we were just any place, any time. <laughs> yeah, we were young and it, just crazy. <laughs> yeah. You're more as like a only do it sometimes, like in special moments. Yep. <laughs> and then I look at it as like a reassurance thing yes, that do. like you're attracted to me, I guess. Yeah, because we talked about that before yeah. when we were in counseling and everything. That you need it as like a, for me to, for you to, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> um, for you to see that I do love you. I guess that makes sense. Sometimes I need to remind that you like me, even though we have three kids. <laughs> this is why you're getting a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> when do I feel most distant to you and what's your secret weapon for bringing me back? Most distant. I think when you get like too much in your head and then you start to like just block off us as a family and like even me individually and you're kind of like in your, you're just kind of in your head and you're just thinking all these bad thoughts and everything and then I'm like, you need to snap back into reality because that's not how it's going. <laughs> Um, 
And I think I just, I bring you back from all that uh, by just kind of like reassuring you that you're doing the right things, that not every day is gonna be a bad day and that, you know, we don't have a bad life. It's just, you know, it's a moment of just things being bad and then poof, it's gone and everything's better. How do you love me? A lot. <laughs> uh, pretty much asking you what you need. Mm -hmm. Makes my life easier if I just ask. Just be vocal. Don't like sit there and think about what I need. Ask me. Well, that used to not work. Yeah, I know. It changes every time. Mm -hmm. It's because when you fill up one bar, you have to fill up the other. <laughs> you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. How do I love you? Some. <laughs> um, a whole bunch. I guess how I love you is like, I just kind of let you be your own person. I don't try and control you or try to stop you from doing better things in your life, I guess. I push you to do the best you possibly can and even better. Even though like you don't see that I'm not a pusher because you definitely are the pusher, but I push back. <laughs> you just don't see it. I do it secretively. Um, yeah, I think that's it. If this were to be our last conversation, what's something you'd never want me to forget? Damn. <laughs> um, that I'm gonna make sure nobody ever forgets you, <laughs> especially our kids, and that you made a bigger impact than you possibly could think. Short and sweet. <laughs> What's something you think I need to hear? I guess just that you're an amazing wife and an awesome mother, so I feel like you needed reassurance sometimes. Yeah. Hey there, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the conversation and want to ask these questions to your own partner, check out the And Couples Edition card game at theskindeep.com shop.